crema. After running day and night, Rikimaru reaches Goda Castle before the Fire Demon. Lord Goda calls an emergency meeting of the nobles of the House of Goda. We need to find a way to stop the Burning Dawn and their giant warship. Our troops cannot fight it from land. Maybe we should send our fleet. Our boats are too small. They'll be blown to bits long Enough. before they get near the Fire you Demon. You talk as if we have already lost before the battle has even begun. Have you forgotten that you are warriors? They're here. the assault on the enemy vessel myself. Prepare my ship. Lord Goda, I'm going to board the enemy ship. I'll come back with Kagami's head. Take care of yourself, Rikimaru. You're too valuable to lose. I'll see you when it's all over. Yes, my lord. Hello and welcome back to Channel 1337. I'm Grey Fox, and uh, this is the final episode of Tenchu 2 uh, the sea battle this this episode is called um, so we're immediately uh, rushing uh, for our end point this is a bit of a long mission so um, we're gonna take the sea route to this boat here and we're gonna work from ship to ship that guy did not hear me so I'm gonna take advantage of that and grab my first stealth kill with a stab attack. Oh, he made a lot of noise there, so hopefully none of the other guards heard that, so I'm just going to take a second uh, and I think I might be able to make it across here. So I'm going to do a double jump, double tap and forward next, double jump. Um, and there's going to be a lot of double jumping in, in this one uh, and careful timing uh, because there are guards on several of these ships. We don't want to attack any of the guys in blue, they're friendlies. So there's another stealth kill. Someone has seen me, so I'm going to go immediately into stealth mode and just duck down because I think someone to my right may have seen me. So this guy here is friendly, he's one of Goda's men. Um, the castle is under attack, so we've gone to approach the... Uh, the fire demon that the ship is called uh, well we're going to attack it that's that's what we're going to do as Rikimaru uh, Ayame's on a similar mission she's she's gone to find Tatsumaru and I've encountered an em enemy and I managed to time it so he shot his friend into the fire so that's something you probably won't witness very often in this game at all well motorbike Um, <laughs> slightly distracting motorcycle outside, but yes. Um, so there's two fellas on this this boat, so it might be a little bit tricky grabbing stealth kills on both of them uh, without alerting the other one. Um, might be worth skipping. 
just gonna hold here for a second until they both turn around but that fella in the green doesn't look as if he's gonna turn around so I may go around to the other side of the ship or boat it's a difference oh no he's decided to turn uh, so when I get a second I'm just gonna keep the camera there Oh, he nearly walked into the fire, the fool. Just look down, pal. You'll see me. Um, so this is the, the final episode. I should I should try and play this as stealthily as possible and as well as possible as it's our final one. I've equipped some of the, uh, the item that I got in the last mission. Uh, blinding dust, it's called. Uh, it will temporarily stun an enemy. Um could be useful for the boss fights so I've equipped it whether I use it or not is a different question uh, we'll, we'll get to that when we actually get to one of our two bosses because we've got a double boss fight for this this one uh, not like Smo and Ornstein in, in Dark Souls not two bosses at the same time that would be horrific in this game uh, one and then essentially it's, it's essentially two levels like like in one and if you mess uh if you mess the second one up you go all the way back to the the beginning of this one so yeah just to clarify this is my 20th attempt on this mission so i'm i'm rushing this fast part actually uh just to get to this ship here which is gonna contain our first boss i think it's this ship maybe this ship so i'm gonna rush and grab stealth kill on this guy and then if I look to the left here, we should see, yep, Suzaku waiting for us. Intoxicating, isn't it? What? The copper smell of blood. The screams of dying men. That final, brilliant flash as you die. Only servants of darkness can appreciate these. I shall deliver you from your darkness into that pure light. Not if I enlighten you first. So this is our second encounter with Suzaku. He's a very dangerous enemy. Uh, as you can see, he's already done some damage to me and that was just with a throwing knife. It did a, well, like 20, 20 odd damage um, so he does a lot of damage you want to be pulling back on the d-pad to, to block for the majority of the fight really uh, you want to grab any any sort of combo attacks you can and, and just really put the pressure on him otherwise he will uh, one pepper you with combos like he just did there or he will use a variety of weapons like he's, he's used uh, throwing knives he's also tried to use a smoke bomb on me there uh, that that would be near but that would be death if if that smoke bomb had taken because he just would have killed me immediately luckily he's dropped himself into the fire just for a little bit of extra damage and he's done it again uh, he's got grenades as well he can also poison you as well so I have all of my healing items with me for this mission as it's the last one um, if we run into any problems, I've got a stockpile there that I can use if I need to. Um, healing can be interrupted as well, so I've got to be super, super careful. So I thought I'd use that platform to just give me an extra second to heal there. This is a very, very difficult fight. Like, uh, it's extremely hard. Like, if you, if you hesitate for a moment, uh, whether it be blocking or attacking like he's, he's poisoned me right so now he's gonna be doing damage over time uh, on top of him uh, attacking me uh, so I'm, I'm kind of panicking now because I will kind of like uh, be stunned every poison tick so the way I'm gonna get around that is I'm gonna be jumping a lot because it seems to avoid the poison ticks um, no poison ticks have happened so far, which is good. I need to heal there, otherwise I will die. Uh, it's it's a matter of time until their poison ticks. See, I got stunned there by the poison tick. 
Um, you just got to hold out for as long as possible until it wears off. You can tell when it wears off because my health bar will turn red as it just did. We've done it. We've beaten Suzaku. You lose. Because the more enemies you get revenge on, the angrier and nastier you become. Until you become as vicious and selfish as me. <laughs> I no longer seek vengeance. I merely serve a worthy master. I fight because I must. So as I said, this is the second part of the mission. Uh, we've we've defeated Suzaku, but we've used well about half of our stockpile of healing items in, in order to be able to do it. And I only have half of my health bar at the moment, so at some point I will need to use another health drink. We're first of all going to grab a stealth kill on this guy um, whilst he's standing there because he's going to move over to the left, uh, in which says there is another person. So I've got to be super careful. There are many, many enemies on this ship. Uh, we're on the Fire Demon now, just to clarify. We are on the, the big battleship that Kagame has, has built. Um, so we're going to use height to our advantage for this, this part here. Uh, this was the one that I was worried about um, being seen when I was killing that other guy a second ago. Um, I'm going to drop down while she's facing the other way and grab another stealth kill. There is another guy to the left of me who hasn't seen me. Ah, he's facing the other way. Cool. And that's the three the three early uh, problems of this mission dealt with. So that them three can completely ruin your run against uh, Suzaku because if one of them sees you the other two will and if they if they like gank you then you you're just going to die uh forcing you to redo the entire mission and Suzaku again which is the the biggest problem of this really uh, cuz as as you saw he can poison you or oh, got to dodge back um double tapping it was green poison to clarify um, not my personal favourite of purple poison. Um, yeah, from, we know that from the Die Hard days. Um, <laughs> um, I can't even remember what game it was from. <laughs> a Die Hard trilogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, so there are quite a few enemies on this stage, and their their pathing will generally take them towards each other as well. So. You've got to be super careful, uh, as you don't want to undo the hard work that we've done already. Uh, the, mi the the end of this mission is uh, just an end point. We don't have to eliminate all the enemies. Uh, we just need to get to a certain area, which, if I remember, is just to the left. Um, it's not actually that far away. You can actually whip through this last um, stage pretty pretty fast. Oops. Accidentally jumped on him without attacking. Oh, and I've paid the price. He threw a grenade at me. Uh, I need to move very, very quickly now because I'm going to be running into areas. Uh, I might just jump into the boss area. Do you know what? I will. A yummy.
Seiju is dead. Or else you never could have gotten this far. Rikimaru, will you really put an end to my beautiful dream? You killed the beauty of your dream with the ugliness of your methods. So this is the final battle, this is Kagami. Um, this is in her first phase, she will only be using her war fan, um, which doesn't do as much damage as her other weapon, which you'll soon see. I'm going to just try and pile in with a few stab attacks. Uh, it still does quite a lot of damage for, for a, a metal fan. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to get some distance on there and back up. You need to be super, super careful because, as I said, this is a well. Th this is the first phase. Um, in her second phase, you need to have plenty of health because she's going to start using a sword. Um, so, once we get her down to a certain threshold, she'll go into her second phase. So, again, just time your your attacks and your blocks accordingly. Uh, it is a bit of a tricky fight. Try and get some distance if you can. And then I like to do that little backwards roll, um, which forces the camera back to the, the reverse view. Um, very, very useful technique. You use that by pressing the R1 and then the X button, um, and that will just flash the um, the camera back the other way. It's healing time there. Just wait for her to make her way up to this stage. And that's the first phase. So this is it, it all comes down to this. Um, I've got 100% health, uh, I'm just going to pepper her with combos just to get some distance on her. Um, and then block. you need to be blocking pretty much every attack you can, as, as you should be really. Um, distance is key, I'm going to use this blinding dust against her. Oh that was a fail, but that one hit, so I'm going to take this moment while she's still stunned to grab in a quick combo. I've already, well, I've nearly got her down. So long as I play this right, I can do this. Ah, she's got grenades. Okay, so she's playing that game. Right, I need to get some distance so I can heal. Um, because if she gets one combo off on me, I'm, I'm basically dead. You saw how much one hit just did there. I'm, I'm blocked in. I'm, I'm, I'm stun locked. Unless I can heal, I'm dead. I'm dead. I need to get away now. I need to run. And then heal. Thank, thank God for that. Right. This is it. Just need to get these combos in. She's down to 30 health. I'm going to keep those healing items out just in case she does hit me once. I don't know, maybe those kunai finish her with the kunai. That could be a classy kill. One. Two. It's not doing enough to kill her, but... Still, the, the chip damage is useful. I want to avoid those smoke bombs, definitely. Come on, one more attack. One more attack on her and I've got a... Ah, one more. Even the kunai will do it. And that's it. You have destroyed my dream by killing me. But my dream lives. You cannot stop it from coming true because we will pay any price for freedom. Freedom. But you, only a fool, follows the rules without questioning them. And fools can never stop us. Ugh. I'll happily suffer the title of fool if it means I can save even one life from your blood-drenched dream. Farewell, Kagami. Rikimaru, everything taken care of? Yes, sir. But where is Ayame? She wasn't on the boat.
Ayame, you made it. I'm going to become strong, so no one can ever take away anything I care for. I understand. What will you do now? I wish only to serve Lord Goda. Good. I'm going with you to Goda Castle. I'm glad. I have someone there worth dying for, and worth living for. So folks, that was Tenchu 2. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Like, uh, it's been a little adventure, hasn't it? Um, ten missions, but wow, like they they were all pretty varied, and uh, they, well, they, it was a unique little game. There aren't many that are like this, to be honest, um, especially these days. Um, most things are first-person shooters or, um, or Fortnite. <laughs> um, yeah, everything's trying to be a, a battle royale game at the moment, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, enough enough talk about that. But no, what what a what a good game. Uh, I played it a lot when I was uh, a lot younger, like half my age. Um, and obviously played quite a bit of it in, in recent weeks um, and yeah what what a what a cool little stealth game um, yeah so to the people that made this uh, thank you for, for making it I rather enjoyed it uh, shame it's got Activision's day name all over it but I can see in the, the credits here it's mostly produced by Japanese people, so it must just be Activision that, that got the license for it uh, and decided to publish it in the West. That's all I can think, anyway. Um, but yeah, yeah. Thoughts? Mm. I, I don't know if I would have found it a bit uh, repetitive if I would have played it myself. Yeah, but. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Like... Um, yeah. That's what stealth games do tend to be. They tend to be uh, rinse, repeat, you know, rob, like go very quietly to this person, kill them, go to the next person, kill them. I suppose stealth games have evolved a little bit. The Hitman series, I suppose, uh, the ability to be able to disguise yourself as uh, uh, your, your enemy or um, like having different objectives and that kind of thing. I suppose the stealth game has evolved over time. Metal Gear Solid 5, I suppose that is a huge evolution of, of the stealth game. Uh, the way it, uh, well, is an, very much an open world game. Um, to, to an extent, anyway, to an extent. Um, I like the story there, and the, uh, yeah, like, the shooting aspect of it is first Yeah, yeah, it's quite, quite ahead of its time. Like the three, three stories. Yeah. Yeah, three three campaigns. So if you can find it, we'll have playing people. So thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you uh well for something else rather soon. Bye for now.